Hey guys, how are you? All right, I really had to kind of think about this last prompt for the month. We are here for another video for my creative year for November 2018. Our topic this month is words. Our first prompt of the month was status. The second one was favorite quotes. And this one is inspirations. I really had to think about that and what I wanted to um, or I should say not what, how I wanted to express that on the journal page. I think I actually have an idea. So I really am inspired by everything around me, my friends and fellow artists, um, the internet, books, nature, um, just everything. Um, it could be the glass of uh, water on the table at the restaurant that my husband and I went to dinner. It, it really it could be anything. Um, I think that I'm going to draw some symbolism for me for inspiration on the page, um, i.e. Um, some lotus flowers and feathers. Uh, for those that don't know, I do have a lotus um, tattoo on my shoulder uh, surrounded by an Enzo or hand-drawn circle. Um, it's a symbol for um, um, a lot of different things. Um, <laughs> um, the Divine Feminine. and there's Anyway, I, my sister has a, a, the same tattoo, and so does my daughter. So I think we're going to do something like that. So I am going to... I think one of the flowers I want to be sticking out from our garbage can here. So I think... We're going to try to do it in a way that we don't sort of cover up or lose too much of our everything else's garbage quote that's on here already. It's a little challenging because it's right on the fold. And I think just in, for the sake of being whimsical or symbolic, I'm going to they could be l considered leaf shapes, um, or those that know me know they're feather shapes. Do a light sketch. Now you notice I'm not using pencil. I don't use pencil that much. Um, I just go straight for the pen. But if you're unsure about your sketching, you're not confident, by all means go in here with pencil first and then um, refine your shapes uh, with a pen and then do then you, uh, let the pen dry and then do some erasing. That works just fine. I don't know that these are great lotusy shapes this morning, but I'm okay with the way they're turning out.
You, of course, could put more words on the page. You could do a lot of different things. Um, think about um, what has meaning to you and add that to your page. These are some more distressed crayons. Baby wipe, baby wipe, baby wipe to do some blending. I think I want to do like another little bit over here for the sake of balance to the page. I think it balances out the page and balances out the movement on the page. Yeah, that definitely does. We're going to start over here. I added a little bit more of that dark color, so we'll blend it a little bit before we go over here. I want to give, give the Bic pen a little bit to dry. I forgot this color. I really like that. I do think that I want to, do I want to do it this way? Maybe. So this is just a big pen, but this is a pink one. Yep. Love it. Love it. Love it. So that's what I've done this month for um, the topic of words and for the prompts of status, favorite quotes, and inspirations. Um, what have you done? I would love to see what you've done. Uh, if you would like to share it over in the Facebook group, My Creative Year, and you're not a member yet, click on my link tree, which is in the description below. You will find there every single place I am on the internet, including the Facebook group, My Creative Year, and my website, my Etsy shop, everywhere. Um, if you would like to get notifications uh, when new videos come out, don't forget to, of course, like, share, and subscribe, and then hit that little bell icon so that you get those notifications. The most important thing is go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.